Hello and welcomes back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Crusader Kings 2, let us continue. So if you just heard me adjusting my seat there at the beginning, it's getting comfortable once again. It's a very warm week as I'm recording in this um, series. It's been a very warm couple of weeks, the back end of summer here. So, in February next year, our truce ends with the Petty Queen here. So we will be one to declare. We should invest in some technological advances. We have no level 3 or tier 3 um, ahead of time penalty anymore. We could get tier 4 military organization, which will allow us to have a bigger retinue once again. But that would cost us all of our military organization. Or we could invest in two bonuses straight away. I don't know which is best. Having a bigger retinue is always good. Having more longbowmen would be good. But sieging faster, allowing our archers to do even more damage would also be great. So it's, it's a, it's a toss-up, really. We do have a 50% ahead of time penalty right now. So I think we'll just go light infantry... And siege equipment, and hopefully we'll get heavy heavy infantry in the near future, and I'll help in a melee phase. Improved keeps, castle infrastructure would be nice. Castle tax actually would increase. City tax, temple tax. Construction level 4 would be good. So we can actually get the other tiers of the hospitals but I'm thinking we'll get the castle infrastructure and finally we have we can unlock two more well almost two more of these popular customs so our vassals like us a bit more and majesty okay so that all works out we had quite a few invas um, advancements. How's our money looking right now? 306 gold per year. It's costing us 9 gold per year to keep our retinue up. Okay. So, one thing we want to do... I am going to move my capital eventually, but I want to build a library. I want to get Construction 4 to get a Pharmaceutical Laboratory. And that'll increase our technology spread rate here. And then we'll consider moving our capital. So it's still going to be a thing to do in maybe another 100, 200 years. But I will eventually want to take this as my capital. Maybe take this barony and build another castle here. But for now, let us um, continue. Yeah, our truce is expiring. That's fine. Once that disappears, we can declare war once again. There we are. Do you have any truces? Nope, you don't. You hate us. I think we'll take you. You have not many troops. My son recommends... Okay, actually we need to appoint some new commanders. And who is leading this army? I'm leading it. Uh, my son. Where is my son? Oh, he's. I think he may be forbidden from leading armies. No? He's busy somewhere, though. Ah, oh, that's fine.
So let's see what happens. We're going to slow the game down slightly. We have almost four, 2,400 archers. So yeah, we're breaking their morale just in the skirmish phase. And now we're it's, it didn't even get to the melee phase. Yeah, we broke them even before we got into melee um, range. Which is great. That's the benefit of having so many archers. We broke his army. You are getting powerful. I'm not sure if I like that. He's a triple duke. That's the problem. Before I die, I might need to piss him off a little. <laughs> How old are we? 53. Oh, the king. The more I study the Fratelli religion, the more I feel compelled to embrace it. God damn it. I'm going, going through so many chaplains. Um... Into the oubliette you go. I did take um, siege equipment, I did. So what's this going? Yep, 99% war score already. Can we siege this down? <laughs> you have 20 troops. It's a little bit embarrassing for you. There we are. 100% war score. Pause. Enforce my demands. I can usurp the title of this petty kingdom. So I can now press a claim on you. Do I have a truce with you? I do. First of all, let's disband our army. Bring them back. So we can press a claim, but we can't declare because we have a truce, so we'll upset people. We will become a truce breaker. People will like dislike us because we have too many duchies. Indeed. So, someone. I need to give someone a position of power. Someone who's preferably in my court. This is the Duchy of Ulster. Okay, what about you? Oh, what about you? There's no claimants. Okay, so I just guess we just have to give this to a vassal. What about you? You're Finnish. Uh, we want to give this to someone who's Welsh. Give it to my brother-in-law, that could burn. You see, you've got to consider the risks here. You. You're ambitious, not you. <laughs> God damn it. Ah. 
Uh, not my grandson. My chancellor? He doesn't have much of a position. He's only a mayor. Would you like a duchy? Um, if I give you Ulster. And then I can give you the duchy. A new great house has arisen. Have you become a merchant republic? I think you have. Huh. As long as you remember who's... Who's, um... In charge, basically. Because <laughs> that could then be a problem. Give you this county, and I will give you this county as well. So, can I take this? Um, yeah, so you're a merchant republic now. I didn't know that could happen. Oh well, we'll keep an eye on that, because that could go horribly wrong for us. Let's make sure my... So my Chancellor, the Grand Mayor... We'll give it till the end of February. Oh. Oh, he's declared on... The Duchess. Perfect. Well, that's what I kind of wanted to happen. My daughter to the Prince of Austrasia. Oh, you're going to refuse now. You're too high in the line of succession. Oh, well. So be it then. But you were going to offer. Yeah. You... Wait, what? I'm... I'm very, very confused now. My son-in-law... Oh, of course, I'm his liege now. Not the other way around. You, your father. My son-in-law is now the heir to the King of Austrasia. I couldn't do it that way, the betrothal, but... He was keeping to his word, and we accepted that way. So, my daughter, her children, could inherit. Okay, well, I'm not going to be dealing with that at all, unless things go horribly, horribly wrong. But, yeah, my bloodline could rule in Austrasia here, which I'm still sure is Austria. Okay, what else is happening? Um, okay, we were waiting till the end of April. Hello. I have my eyes set on a title, but my, sp well, my spy master has advised me to forget about it, saying I would invoke too much wrath if I tried to claim it. So I could take intrigue advice. I could regain the title of ambitious, or just gain one intrigue, or um, I will become in ambitious again. Why not? Why not? So there's the patrician. So he's just going to claim the last bit of island we don't own. Good. Very good. Uh, what about my retinue? Has it grown any bigger? No, it's actually grown a little bit smaller. Probably because I've handed territory away. Five titles can be created. That's all in Jerusalem. Our son is unhappy because he's unlanded. That'll disappear. I can press a claim. Oh, I can press a claim on behalf of one of my bishops. I see. So, does anyone anyone consider themselves powerful? It doesn't seem so. You should be collecting taxes. 
you should be studying technology. I guess this is, they finally come out of hiding from when we had smallpox ravaging the um, counties here. You are improving relations. We don't want to be fabricating any more claims right now. I kind of want to relax. I want to deal with Jerusalem. I don't think we need anything else in terms of territory. Unless we really want to go crazy in the future. But first things first, let's develop our current holdings. So, we have money. Let's spend it. I want to get a library, actually. Let's get the library going to increase our technology spread rate. Yeah. We're at the point now when things could go horribly wrong. There's, there's still things that could kill us, but we have just become so powerful right now that we can just sit back and relax a little. It's when our ruler dies where we'll see what happens. Need to watch out for my granddaughter. Let's have a look what else we can do with this hospital. Oh, we're building a tr oh, Ulster are building trade posts here. Okay. Hey, if you. If that's going to get me money, you can do that, I guess. My steward wants to hire ruffians to bully peasants who are not paying their taxes. Um... It's going to upset the peasants for one year. I'd hate to say, what's the harm? What can we do with this, um, a trade post, then? Um, okay. Let's put some time into there, then. Actually, this increases our retinue by a little bit as well. Okay. You know, that's not a bad thing. Gonna have to watch out in case he becomes a bit too powerful. But this might turn out to be a good thing after all. <laughs> so we need. We've got a chapel here which increases our disease resistance a bit more. Build some more economic technology points, and this gives us more piety. Oh, my wife passed away at long last. I know it's a horrible thing to say, but she was actually really good. Is there any more geniuses of age? You have chest pains. We will marry you anyway to see if we can have any more genius children. Plus, it just gives me a nice bonus to my overall stats here. Uh, what do my vassals think of me? They all like me. You don't have a position on my council. And you desire one. nothing I can really give you. I guess just to keep you happy. Sorry, son. 
You still love us out in any way. Oh dear. I, he thinks I have the measles. I could be suffering from the measles. I have another granddaughter. That's not exactly what I was after, but... Yep, here we go. Seek treatment for my illnesses. Your vassal, the Duchess of Meath, has expressed her dissatisfaction with a choice of my advisors. Mm, no, I will refuse to give you a position. Yep, here we go. Seek a treatment. Okay, so... Ah, my son-in-law. So, what, let's have a look at the penalties here. 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1.75 illness. Um, that's not good. I might die here. Yep, I'm suffering from the measles. Spend a lot of gold, get some more cultural technology points. Sure, I'll accept. My court physician, Urien, has come to see us. He's the drunkard, isn't he? The drunkard, wicked priest who's deceitful. Um. How about the measles? Minus two health. Um. Well tested treatment. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I am sick of always being kind to everyone. I am no longer kind. There's a trade post here. I wonder if um, the guy who, the patrician here, is actually going to be upgrading the trade posts as well. Oh, there's no civil war. Ah, my daughter's suffering from the flu. This is not going well. Ah, I lost an, I lost one of my daughters previously, didn't I? The smallpox. I did. Do we have any more ambitions? We don't. Ah. His Holiness Pope Sergius III has been swayed by the Christ people from the Christian population in the kingdom of Andalusia. He urges all able-bodied men of Europe to take up arms against the evil. Oh. Oh. Where are we fighting now? Um, we're looking for Andalusia. So, that's all we're fighting. How many men do you have? 28,000. That's a lot. Hmm. I am tempted, though. If more people joined in, we don't have a faction against us. Um, a lot of people have already declared. You know what? 
I will offer to join your wall. There we are, yep. There's the armies gathering. Tell you what, we'll end this video here. We'll end it a bit shorter than usual. When we come back, the Holy War for Andalusia. This is of course will be Dan Forth playing Crusader Kings 2. I'll see you all next time. Until then, bye bye now.